What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers, the shakers, the glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. What up? What's going on? Welcome to another week. Uh, this is going to be Monday's episode, so make sure you tune in. Monday and Tuesday are topics. Wednesday's our discussion. Uh, Thursday is usually Ask Us SP. That will kick back off uh, in two weeks. I got an interview uh, lined up for that one. And then Fridays, we discuss everything else. So uh, it could be books, movies, TV shows, just uh, how we unwind throughout the week. Um, so definitely continue to tune in, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share this with your friends. But without further ado, I give it to Shannon. Or actually, I think maybe I'll go wow. first. I just and I messed it up. <laughs> it's all first good. Episode. It's all good. It's all good. I, I take I take this one first. No worries. We got Shannon for the next episode. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, right on. So yeah, for this episode, we got a uh, we got an article. Um, man, I'm not even gonna uh, uh, try to get the name, but this is from Bitdefender.com. Uh, and it's from Vlad. And basically, the title of the article is "Hackers Use Bad USB to Deploy Ransomware on Defense Companies Systems." The FBI warns. Um, and essentially, this article is discussing that uh, there's a recent um, flash alert from the FBI to U.S. companies that the Fin7 cyber crime group could compromise the systems by delivering ransomware-ridden USB drives. Uh, reportedly, the, the perpetrators mailed patches that to various U.S. companies uh, comprising bad USB slash bad Beetle USB uh, devices, misleading misleadingly branded with the Lily Go logo to bypass the defenses. Um, so yeah, essentially, you know, this random, you know, uh, this cyber crime group has been sent, sent out these uh, mal malware, malware ridden USB drives um, to the USB companies, uh, to the US companies. Uh, and essentially, you know, FBI just been, been warning people to look out for it, you know, don't trust these drives that you get in the mail. Um, I think it's it's almost kind of like common sense not to like just stick any random drive into your into your company's computer into any computer for that matter. Um, but um, you know these people have been trying to to, to use this method. Um, they send a package um, and it's it says it's uh, the package were cunningly disguised to appear legitimate, but included forged thank you notes, uh, counterfeit gift cards, and COVID nineteen guidelines along with the uh, malicious USB drives, according to several reports the FBI received. So, you know, they, they're, they're going through the effort, they're making, you know, making it look legit to actually have gift cards in there making it look like it's, uh, you know, you got like you won a prize or like you, you know, you got something special that they're actually a legit company that's trying to uh, give you a good thing. Um, and one thing that's sneaky about this that the, it says that if the target plugs a USB, I'm sorry, the USB drive uh, into the computer, the system automatically registers the device as an HID, a human interface device keyboard. Uh, this workaround enables USB to operate even if the system has disabled the use of remo removable storage devices. Um, and it's something I'm, I'm familiar with. Uh, I have done some work in, with the government in the past, and you know, these they, they're, they're have, uh, they may have some like um, system group policies, something like that, that prevent uh, removable uh, storage devices from being used. But you know they're kind of clever. These companies, these these uh, cyber criminals are clever, clever with making the drive appear as as a uh, a keyboard, so that the those systems don't pick it up, as well as any kind of uh, um, any kind of like uh, HBSS or some sort of like uh, scanning software won't be able to uh, identify the uh, the USB uh, plugged into the system. So, um, and then once once it's plugged in. Um, the, the, the USB device relies on keystrokes to deploy malware payloads on the affected computer. Uh, usually the goal of these attacks is to access the systems uh, or the victim's network and deploy malware using tools such as Cobalt Strike, Metasploit, PowerShell scripts, and uh, uh, Carbonka. Uh, so yeah, this is just uh, you know, one of those alerts that you know, the, UF, the FBI put out. And I think it's really, really interesting read. Um, something that you know we got to keep a keep a mindful of ourselves as common citizens. Even if you go to these um, uh, like tech expos and things like that, and they have like free USB drives and all this kind of stuff they're handing out, and you got to be uh, kind of wary of those things, uh, no matter where you go. I mean, I don't think I've ever really taken a USB drive um, and just plugged into my computer, you know, off the off the cuff. Um, 
you know, you, you got to be safe. And if you have some sort of, uh, you know, scanning software, use your, even I think Microsoft has a, a the, the Windows Defender. I think you can use that to scan uh, drives and things like that. Uh, make sure things are safe before you actually like execute them and things like that. So just to be, be safe, you know, don't trust random USB drives that you receive and uh, just keep on the lookout. But uh, with that, uh, Shannon, do you have some, some thoughts on this one? So, so I do, right? So we, I'm fairly certain we went through this once before, right? This was a topic on the show we had once before where somebody was doing this and it was like, why, why are people falling for this, right? Like who's just picking up? Now I say this, right? Knowing that the military has done this before, like <clears throat> they will do different exercises or they'll just leave them on the ground around places. You know what I mean? And then uh, you end up finding out that it was like one of those, uh, I forget what they called them, like one of those events they're they're doing to where they they see uh, they test people's uh, security like cy cyber awareness. Right. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, who does this? Like, even if you receive it in the mail or whatever, it's like, oh, a USB. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean? like I'm I'm thinking to myself, are these like old heads used to get the old AOL disks and they think, oh, mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta cash this in. You know what I mean? Like, what is, <laughs> what is going on here? Who falls right. For this? But people, no, don't do this, okay? Do mm -hmm. not fall for this, right? If you're going to do something like this, make sure it's uh, it's not something that's networked, you know what I mean? Like you put it on a system that you're going to scan it, um, it's off the network, uh, it, like something that, that is, is going to do no harm, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, right. I don't understand how, how people are falling for this in this day and age, but I mean, it's just one of those things where I guess if you don't have a strong enough uh, uh program a, tr a security training program cybersecurity training program this is what your people will do they'll fall for it but i mean i, I don't know this is one of those things where the fbi had to put this warning out as we put the warning out right it was the fbi mm -hmm. it sure was yeah so it's like man so, so they don't they don't put the time into this unless somebody fell for it that's how that happens but yeah we, people don't put anything you're not familiar with into your systems, okay? Don't just don't do it. No CDs, no USBs, no external hard drives, no any of that. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, no matter what you think the security posture is at your company, right? It's just not worth the chance, right? So it, this is just I, I can't believe this is still happening in this day and age. But Ryan, what you got on this, man? Uh, so I, I thought it was pretty clever, like just having the um, the COVID guidance and the thank you notes and all that stuff. Like <laughs> right. They, they did a good job. Like, um, and then the, the the tricking you into believing it's a keyboard once it's plugged in, so you don't really pay attention to it anymore. I mean, that's just uh, very what's the word? Sophisticated. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Um, right. Uh, attack. So I, I thought it was pretty good. Like I, I I agree. Like who's still plugging in USBs? Like even when I received. Um, the tools for the uh, GCFA uh, exam, it came on a USB. And it I, it took me a couple of days before I plugged it in. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, are they was testing like, hmm. me? Are they yeah, testing me right. to make sure? <laughs> this is the job for me. Like, right. um, but yeah, this, this, I can see this one getting people. Um, uh, like, like you said, it's not going to happen in DOD because you're not going to be able to plug it into um, to your computer. So you're going to know automatically, like, this is not right. Like, no one would send me a USB to plug into a government system because they know we can't do that. But if you just, you know, mom, mom and pop uh, type shop and you, you think that this is um, for some reason going to uh, be beneficial to you because it has like coupons inside of it, could, they could have got you. Um, but it is pretty wild. Like, don't, don't Plug, like this is what governments do to other governments. <laughs> like don't right. don't do it. Like don't don't uh, don't plug USBs in, especially from from strangers. Like that should just be um, a regular practice. I'm curious if they airdropped it on us, like we were North Korea or something. Like how did they? Right, like they flew like, by. Like, right. Yeah. Like, I, 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 so like if you if you just think about this for a second, so like why would you think someone would need to put that guidance on a USB? So like if you get something delivered to you and it's like hey some type of guidance or thank you card or whatever, all that right. stuff is on this USB. Like anything you need to find when it comes to any type of guidance or anything like that, well, this is a digital age. You can find it online. I doubt you need to look at this thing right. to figure right. it yeah, out. Yeah, that's true. You know, that that is very true. Just take it. Because you, usually you would find this stuff in like uh, packages that don't have very good uh, spelling on them or bad labels or whatever. Like this would look very legitimate. But then I would also like, I would Google the company. Like, why are they sending me this? But 
who's to say they didn't set up a website too like that wasn't mentioned but like that would be the mm-hmm. extra step right let's go <laughs> let's go ahead right. and create a wordpress real quick <laughs> and say this is legitimate <laughs> go get your coupons but i don't know like it's, it's pretty crazy yeah um but yeah it's just just a warning put it out there like everybody should know this but apparently people everyone does not know this not common sense practice so yeah. now you know so <laughs> don't right. don't do that but uh i think that wraps it up for this episode uh thank you uh levon thank you shannon i'm gonna get the right order next time for the uh for the, the next episode <laughs> <laughs> hit up the website www.theothersideoffirewall.com where you get to all of our socials hit me up personally i'm at rye rye security guy that's on linkedin clubhouse twitter and tiktok and you levon yes sir you can hit me up on the twitters at levon maynard there it is stay safe stay secure take care Thank you.